Hello, all you RC fans out there. Um, for those of you who are beginners, this is going to be a great series for you because I'm taking you through um, what I'm going to be doing as a kind of RC beginner. I'm intermediate, and my friend is going to be getting some beginner planes, and he's going to be moving his way up. And I'm going to be helping him along with that, and I'm also going to be helping you guys along with that. So, um, let me start off with how I started with RC. Uh, I can't even remember how I started with RC. I knew I loved planes, and then just got an RC. But, um, uh, my first plane was a nice T-28, Park Zone T-28D Trojan. It was the Bind and Fly version, and I have a DX-5E, which is right over there. And, um, it was a pretty good plane. I like that plane a lot. But, um, I crashed it right in the ground because I already flown two flights that day. And there was another little kid with his, uh, Wildhawk. And sadly, I crashed his Wildhawk because of radio interference. And, um, I flew my. He asked me to fly my park zone so I, he could see how I flew. Except, um, the battery was dead. So I threw it up. It got about. 25 feet in the air, and, um, the pa power shut off, so, uh, I was like, alright, I do what I do when battery dies, I shut the motor off, and glide it, because my plane's a, the Park Zone 228 is a very nice glider, and, uh, I decided that I was high enough to do an Emelman turn, for those of you who don't know what an Emelman turn is, it's like taking your plane, flipping it upside down, and then flipping it around. That or, you know. And uh, I decided I was high enough to do that, but I wasn't. So I flipped it upside down and just drove straight into the ground. Which was not fun. And, um, anyway, I'm going to be getting, for my next plane, I'm either going to be getting... Wait for the blank screen to become unblank. I'm either going to be getting this uh, little Banana Hobby F-16 EDF or this Airfield P-51. Um, both of them need receivers and transmitters to go along with them. They come with everything else though, except for except for this one doesn't come with the battery right here. So, that's what I'm going to be getting. Um, for, I'm hoping to get the um, EDF, but I want to do some aerobatics, so I'm, right now I'm leaning more towards the P-51, so, probably going to get that. Sorry, did I go off the frame? Um, and my friend, since he's just beginning, a great beginner plane is the Wild Hawk or the Hawk Sky. Hawk Sky from Dynam and Wild Hawk from. I'm not sure. But um, he decided to get the Exceed RC Slope Diver because he wants a fast plane, a maneuverable plane, and it really is. And he wants to be able to glide it for a long time. So he's going to be getting this little yellow beast here. And, um. I'm gonna help him fly that. We're gonna buddy box on the first few flights because I am good enough to buddy box because I kind of fly actual planes. But anyway, that's about all I want to talk about. There should be some in the next few weeks. We're gonna have videos posted of either his little slop diver flying around, me buddy boxing, of course. I'm not really sure how we're gonna film that or um my P-51 flying around. So, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Go check out the, uh, cardboard RC flying wing fail video. Didn't really get off the ground. And, uh, check out that. Subscribe. Do whatever. Have a nice life.